You're watching CNBC's Worldwide Exchange. I'm down here in Cannes, the south of France, for the world's content market, media content market, MIP TV. Now, media companies have had a hard time of getting their stock price to do anything in the last few years. Apart from that is Nasdaq-listed CTC. It's a Russian media company, and it's just a traditional free-to-air space. It listed two years ago, and since then, its market cap has basically doubled from around $2.1 billion to over 4.4. So what's the story here, and how long can it last? Joining us now is the CEO of CTC, Alexander Rodniansky. Thanks very much indeed Thank uh, for joining us. I mean, the, the thing about this is you guys are a, a basic free-to-air traditional network model. So what, what's, you know, what's helping you perform here? Is, is this the, the developing ad market? Definitely, the Russian advertising market is booming in the Russian economy, supported by the growth of Russian consumers' market. That's why the, when you have the market uh, which uh, replaced from 20s largest in Europe to 6 largest just in five years, uh, exactly after the five big Western European markets, you've been the one of the leading, actually leading independent privately owned media company, have all possibilities to capitalize on this growth. Now, the question people will say is, look, okay, have we had the best of it then? Because growth from a low base is always sort of booming. You know, what happens when it starts maturing? Uh, actually, low base, but this is uh, in 2006 already 4.4 billion, 2007, 4.4 billion markets, which is uh, traditionally uh, reflects the sheer size of the country. In a country where you don't have uh, national distribution, given the sheer size, national distribution of radio, papers, and uh, magazines, television plays quite an important role. It's generally not just a resource of entertainment, it's uh, you know, something which ensures the informational integrity of the country. What makes the Russians, uh, Russians in the, the, living in the different cities of the country, in, let's say in, with 8,000 kilometers in between? Just television. So generally, it's going to be mature in a couple of years, maybe in five, maybe in six, but it's still growth and demonstrates really excellent dynamic of this growth. CTC was originally set up by uh, American investors. They took that traditional sort of uh, network model and launched it in Russia um, in, in the 90s. Uh, here's the thing. I mean, do you guys, yeah, investors obviously at the moment get worried. If I invest in any Russian company that does business in Russia, I'm worried about the political environment. Are you shielded, though, because you're purely entertainment? Well, uh, this is one of the major brand attributes of the company. It's been just purely entertainment, non-political. We don't have hot news on any of our networks, whether it's CDC, our major uh, flagship channel, or Damashny, our second one, or some other networks we just launched or acquired. We don't have hot news. But it's been always the part of our brand uh, since many, you know, 12 years already. I believe... Uh, uh, this company has uh, built up this strong, loyal audience. It's uh, one of the most important elements of the Russian competitive television landscape. It's definitely one of the most influential source of entertainment for the young, most dynamic, and most, you know, the, the audience with the biggest pushing pushes power. I believe Russia is, uh, in many regards, quite mature market with very com competitive, strong networks being backed by state or private investors. But I believe CDC has demonstrated many years already that it's able to go through the political turbulences and stay the same. Alexander, good to talk to you today. Uh, thanks very much, Steve, for joining us. Elliot Rodniensky, CEO of CTC. We did talk earlier, we don't have time actually, talk about how they're also meeting the digital challenges and actually how Comparatively speaking, there is relatively low sort of uh, satellite and cable uh, penetration as well in Russia, which helps if you're a free-to-air broadcaster.